Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to give you a bit of an update on what I'm planning to do with the bedroom and the bathroom upstairs because while the loft renovations have been taking place, it got me thinking about those rooms and as one of the builders fell through the bedroom ceiling, I thought now would be a good time to give the bedroom a bit of an update and a refresh and also get some work done on the bathroom as we have the builders in. I thought we might as well just continue and work our way down from the loft. So I thought in this video I would show you both of those rooms, show you what the current situation is, which is basically chaos, and also share with you all of my plans. I've been sketching some floor plans and I want to ask your opinion on a few things and yeah, I'll just give you a bit of an overview of both of the rooms. I've just been at my desk all morning doing some admin and some bits and pieces and I'm about to update my YouTube banner. You may have noticed my new logo popping up at the start of my videos. A few of you have commented on it and said that you liked it. And I want to say thank you to 99designs by Vistaprint who are sponsoring this part of today's video. I've been working with them to create some new branding for my YouTube. I've been on YouTube for almost five years now. So I thought it would be a really good time. I wanted to create a Mr. Carrington logo that felt a little bit more like me and what my channel's all about and just something that's a little bit more fun. And the great thing about 99designs by Vistaprint is you can then actually get your logo printed onto all sorts of different things, different merchandise, and those items have arrived today. Let me take you through the process of the service and how we came up with the final design. So 99 Designs is the go-to graphic design platform by Vistaprint that makes it easy for you to work with professional creative experts on custom memorable designs. So you can get all sorts of things designed from logos to apps, packaging to book covers, and they will support you through the entire process from briefing through to the final design. So you'll get an incredible design you'll love from artists all around the world. So there are two different ways to work. You can run a contest where you invite 99 designs in entire creative community to participate in your project and designers submit ideas and you pick your favourite. That's the one that I went for. Or you can also run a one-to-one -one project where you search for and get matched with the perfect designer to help you bring your idea to life. You get assigned an account manager who will take you through the entire process from start to finish. So as the designs came in, I was able to rate them and give feedback to the different designers. Then I was able to select some finalists. And then I created a poll and some of you voted for your favourites and gave feedback too, which was so helpful. I find things like this so difficult to decide on. As you can see, I wanted to incorporate a paintbrush. I started this channel with very much a DIY focus and I also experimented with including a cactus in the design. You guys know I love a cactus too. And yeah, I was really pleased with the high quality graphic designs that came through. The process was so easy. So once I'd selected the finalists, I was able to then work with them to feedback on the designs to really get them looking perfect. They were also then able to connect me with an animator who did the animation. So I have the option to have it popping up onto the screen, which I absolutely love for YouTube. And I was also able to order some different bits of merchandise too, which have arrived, including this mug, which I'm so pleased with. I'll be having a quick sip of the old coffee <laughs> out of this before I start my videos. I've also got some pens made too. How about these really lovely quality pens? They've got loads of different stuff that you can choose from. I know so many people have started up small businesses and side hustles over the past year or so. So it's definitely worth checking them out if you're looking to create a design, especially if you're stuck for ideas and you're not sure how to kind of sum up your brand identity. I think this is a really brilliant way of doing it because you are going to be working with so many designers who are going to submit all those ideas based on your brief and you will get that one-on-one -on -one support with the account manager to guide you through the entire process. I also got some note paper. So I had it printed on the middle. I just thought it'd be really nice to be able to write around that when I send anything or if I want to leave somebody a note. And I also got some note cards as well. So these are kind of like postcards. I got absolutely loads of them and I thought these would be really lovely when I do my giveaways and things like that 
to include one of these that I can write on the back. So yeah, overall I'm absolutely delighted with my new logo. Let me know what you think of it. And also the service was brilliant. Being taken through the whole process from an account manager and getting so many different designs through to look at and choose from and be inspired by was brilliant. So if you're looking to create your own graphic designs for your needs, then definitely click the link in the description box where you can get 30 pounds off a contest project with 99 designs by Vistaprint. And thank you very much to them for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so let's head upstairs now and let's have a look at the, I nearly said kitchen, <laughs> not the kitchen, it's definitely not the kitchen. Let's have a look at the bedroom and bathroom and I'll share with you all of my plans for those. Okay, so let's start off by having a look at the bathroom. Room. Before we go in there, I want to say, please don't judge me. We are in the middle of the building renovations with the loft as I film this video. Everywhere is chaos. The bathroom is partly storage room. It's being used by the builders to store their clothing. All sorts of things are going on. So everyone's a bit messy. So ignore the mess and let's talk through the plans for the bathroom. So first of all, let me just show you this piece of the landing outside the bathroom. So we have the door here on the left hand side that leads straight in to where the washing machine is, some storage shelves and some shelving on the left hand side here. There's also the radiator tucked behind there. Ignore this tray situation here and all the <laughs> crates that I'm currently storing in the bathroom. So the plan is to move the bathroom door to this space here. And then what I want to do with this space is build in a cupboard that's going to be deep enough to store suitcases and deep enough to have a rail of clothes in here so that I'm thinking winter coats could go into this cupboard that's built here. So this will become a two door cupboard, <laughs> imagine that. And then here, door into the bathroom. So let's jump around the other side so I can explain this side better. So if the door then comes in here, and then here we have partly a built-in cupboard. So there will be a bit of a wall built across here. And then what I want to do is build a bit of a wall across this side to kind of enclose the washing machine. So essentially we're going to have a doorway right in the middle here. So that's boxed off. We've got the cupboard access from the hallway on the other side. And then from this side, you'll walk through this little doorway and then to the left here, I'm thinking like a billy shelf or some built-in shelving so I can stack up shoes or washing supplies or any of that kind of stuff in this little alcove. And then here we'll have another little wall partitioned off. The washing machine will be pushed back. And then in the middle here, a towel rail. So yeah, it'll become like a little uh, walk-in, I guess, storage, utility, whatever you want to call it, to kind of close this area off and just make it a bit separate from the bathroom itself. So with the door going here, it will open up against that little wall that we're putting in. So the sink won't be able to stay there. So the sink will come over onto this side, which is currently housing some old friends. <laughs> Who remembers this guy from Halloween? And yes, lots of Christmas decorations. So all this will have gone. And I'm thinking we'll get a bigger sink unit across the chimney breast wall across there. So that is the plan. And then the toilet will remain the same. The bath will stay where it is, but we will get new flooring. This is all really bashed up now. It's been here for 10 years, but it will be time to retile with the same tiles that we have in the bathroom upstairs in the loft, and then lay some new hardwood floor down and tile over it. So here is my drawing of the new floor plan. This isn't to scale, but I've just sketched this out to show the builders what I've got in mind. So door here, move to here, and then the cupboard with access from the landing. And then a bit of a partition wall built here and here, leaving a doorway going through. So you can walk through this doorway and then you'll have access to the shelving on this side and then the washing machine on that side. Towel rail in between the two. That would just be quite nice because it's kind of blocked off. The washing machine isn't in sight then from the bath and things like that, but it's also really easy to access it. And then the new sink being added here, which will be slightly wider hopefully to allow a bit more space either side. And then toilet stays where it is, bath stays where it is, new tiles, new tiles, simple as that. <laughs> On to the bedroom. Oh my goodness, have you ever seen such a mess? <laughs> we are also using it to dry clothes. We've got the dry buddy on the go. I've hung some clothes over there to dry. The clothes horse is here with things drying on it. And I've also been having a massive sort out. So I've got one, two, three bags to go to charity. I've got some more bits here. I've got things that need to be reinstalled for the loft. Lots of hampers, but we love a hamper, so we won't argue with those and oh, 
<laughs> yes, it is chaos. But the plan for in here is that tomorrow the plasterer is going to come and plaster over all of this side. So this evening's task is going to be clear this area here. I might try to dismantle the bed actually if I can. I'm going to move some bits up into the loft because we do have some cupboard space up there now. And yeah, oh dear. I mean, it looks so messy and awful, but that is the reality of living in a renovation. I'm sure any of you that have done similar stuff will get it. Sometimes it's only worth kind of tidying it to a certain point because you know it's all about to get moved again. So I'm trying to keep systems in place, but equally I'm not stressing too much. I had to even do some shooting up here the other day, hence why the filming lamps are up here. So yeah, I'm just kind of muddling through, muddling <laughs> being the word at the moment. Oh, and then let me just show you this. This is from Ikea and it's one of their screens for the garden. I just bought one to see how it looks, but I'm thinking of putting some up along the dividing wall just to offer a bit more privacy from the neighbours. And I really like these, these are £35, you get the bottom section and then the top part. So I'm going to have a little play with that once the roof garden is cleared, but there's still lots of rubble out there too. This chandelier we're debating putting back on the new kind of landing that's been created on the way up to the loft. It's just whether it's going to kind of fit the space now, so we're going to have a look at that. Plan for in here, I'd quite like to get one more Pax wardrobe to extend it by kind of one panel, if that makes sense. So with that in mind, I think we're gonna get a new radiator. So slightly smaller just to be across there to allow for a bit more wardrobe space. And then with the floor, we want to get rid of the carpet and either install some new flooring. But if we do the same flooring as the loft, we would have to reboard the entire floor because there's floorboards under this. So I'm hoping that the floorboards might be in a condition that I could just paint them. We'll see. That would be a cheaper option, wouldn't it? But um, we'll have to have a look at the condition of those floorboards and see. But yeah, two options there. Right, let's get some of this sorted and cleared. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I. All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind But I just don't know I just don't know if I'll dance with the lights on If you're gonna be moving on solo Wait a second cause they're playing the best song I'll be there if you reach out to me Okay, so I think I'm going to end the video here. I really hope you enjoyed it and seeing the plans for the bedroom and the bathroom. Let me know if you have any ideas. I'm always interested to hear your feedback. And thank you again to 99designs by Vistaprint for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget you can save £30 on a design contest and get some graphic design created for yourself by clicking the link in the description box down below. Give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to click subscribe for new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.